it's Eki here. This is Tsubasa Masuaka Tsu Chan Inspired Makeup Tutorial. Okay, I'm already wearing Skin 79 Oriental Gold BB Cream along with a Max Studio Sculpt Concealer in NC20 and another Skin 79 Diamond Collection BB Pack. Right after I apply the BB cream all over my face along with the concealer on my trouble spots such as under the eyes, I use a brush to apply the powder foundation all over my face. This will set the BB cream in place. Now I'm using Candy Doll Highlighting Powder and Cream Beige. This powder contains micro shimmer which when you apply on highlighting areas this will give an illusion of higher bridges such as what I'm doing on my nose. Now I'm using the cream blush that comes with the Skin 79 BB Cream. I am applying it all over apples on my cheek, which this sets in as a primer for my powder brush. Now I'm wearing Jill Stewart Mix Blush in 02. With the blush, I like to create an illusion of flushed pink cheek that's glowing from your skin. So what I'm doing right now is I'm applying pink shades all over my apples of my cheek. Best to see that is when you smile. Now using the Candy Doll Highlighting Powder, I like to apply that in the inner center of the apples of the cheek. This will create an illusion of glowier cheek. Now I'm using NYX Automatic Eyebrow Pencil. I like to use automatic pencils such as this one because I like my eyebrows to be defined but at the same time with the brush at the end of the pencil you could blend it in to create a softer look. Now I'm using Paul and Joe eyeshadow primer. By using a primer this will set your eyeshadow a lot longer than what they would last without a primer and your eyeshadow will be much more vibrant with and primer. Here I'm using Dolly Wink eyeshadow palette in 01. Now with the look that I'm creating, I'm using an example from Tsubasa's look. She only applies it to about a mid way of her eyelid, which this creates more of a natural look. Now I'm using the mid brown shade in this palette. I'm applying it only to the outer corner of my eye and creating a sort of a half of a V shape on the outer corner of my eye. Now using Dolly Wink liquid eyeliner in black. This eyeliner is one of my favorite out of all liquid eyeliner that I've used so far, mostly because it's a felt pen type. It allows me to draw very precise lines and it's great for winged eye look. As you can see right here, it's like applying with a marker that is very precise. Now using the lightest shade, I am going to apply it on the inner corner of my eye. This will give an illusion of my eyes being more wide and open, along with the inner half of my eyes. By using your brush, blend in the highlighter shade into your skin. Also, by highlighting the inner corner of the eye, this will give a little bit of contour to your nose. Using my favorite fiber wig mascara, this gives me the illusion of longer extended lashes that still looks natural. But the thing is, it just needs a lot of work and patience to build it onto your lash. I'm really happy with their new extra long formula. I don't have to apply as much of coats as before and it seems to extend my eyelashes a little bit longer than their old formula. Now using a Panasonic Electric Lash Curler, this is perfect match for your fiber wig because with fiber wig when you use a traditional curler it tends to go down and not stay curl. But with this electric curler you will have your eyelashes curled all day plus it will add the look of false lashes. So here's a look after it's curled, and this is with two coats of extra long fiber wig mascara. 
Now using Dolly Wink Pencil Eyeliner in Black, I'm going to fill the gap between the eyeliner and the inner lash line. By doing this, this would define your eye even more and will add to the effect of bigger eyes. Now I'm getting my false lashes ready. Instead of wearing a whole band, I like to cut my eyelashes and modify them to however I like. Also, by cutting and applying pieces of false lashes, it feels very natural on the eye. Now I'm using Dolly Wink Lash Glue. This applicator tip has made it so much easier to apply without any mess or hassle. Earlier, I cut two pieces of eyelashes. Now I'm applying the first one from the outer edge of my eyes. I like to apply my eyelashes a little bit downward. By doing that, it will create much rounder effect to the eyes. Now I'm applying the second piece. You could see that I applied it a little bit more towards the right. Now I only added two pieces of the lashes, but if you want more fuller effect, you could go on and add more and gradually move it towards the center of the eyes. Now I'm going to apply lower false lashes by using Dolly Wink false lashes in number 5. Uh, this one is the one that Tsubasa uses often um, when I see her photos. Um, the band is clear and very thin and lightweight. As you can see right here, I'm applying the band a little bit outside of my natural lash line. This will give another meaning of enlarged eye effect. Okay, here's with and without the lower lash. Now I'm using the darkest shadow. I'm filling in the gaps between the false lashes, but still following the V shape I created.